Hello guys, in this video we'll learn Android development with Tori 2.0 using Rust. In this video we'll look at the project structure, the prereqs required to build and run your Android application with Tori 2.0 using Rust. Depending on which OS you are working with on your machine, either Windows, Mac OS, Linux, we'll look at the prereqs for each. Along the way we'll also learn the command line that you need to master for Android code generation, running your Android application on your physical device or using the virtual device using Android Studio. We'll also run our very first Tori app with Android. So without further ado, let's begin. First of all, let's look at the prereqs. Now these are valid as of November 2024. But depending on when you are watching this video, I'll drop the link in the description. Make sure you just cross validate that you have all the prereqs cover before you start developing your Android applications. Now for system dependencies, you need specific distribution of Linux depending on which flavor you are using. Make sure you have the distribution which is required or a later version. And for Mac OS, you need Catalina 10.15 and later. And for Windows, you need Windows 7 or later. You must have Rust up and running on your machine. Also Node.js because we'll be using uh, JS quite a lot like for front-end development uh, using Tori for our uh, view, our UI of our uh, mobile app or desktop application and also you should have Rust for your business logic or your Tori commands. Also I would highly recommend to install a package manager as well like yawn, npm, pnpm, bun, any other package that's supported with uh, Tori, make sure you have it up and running. And to configure the mobile targets, uh, in this video, we are focusing around Android. So we'll look at Android. Uh, in, a, in another video, we'll cover for iOS. So let's look at Android. Now for Android, make sure you have uh, Android Studio installed on your machine. Uh, you can just check the latest, latest version and make sure it's installed. If you already have it installed then uh, you can skip uh, this first step and depending on which OS you are on Mac OS or Windows or Linux make sure to set up the environment variable or your target and then uh, in the Android Studio go to your SDK manager and make sure you select all of these and install it I'll show you when we move to Android Studio again but uh, if you are well versed with Android Studio, then just go to the SDK manager and make sure you have all of this uh, installed and downloaded, installed and set up. You just click these options and it will automatically do it for you. And once you have that, you have to also uh, in your terminal, make sure you run this command to export the Android home and NDK home for you. Uh, and these commands are pretty much generic depending on which OS again you are using. If you are using Windows, set the environment variables in Mac OS, you can just do it in terminal. Also in terms of Linux, you can use these. So once you have all of this step four covered, in the step five, make sure to run this command rust up to set the Android target on your machine. Now this is for Mac OS and for Windows, here you have, and similarly for Linux. So make sure depending on which OS you are running on your system you have this step till step 5 everything covered back to our id by now i expect you guys to have all the prereqs checked and installed on your machine now make sure you are in a clean directory open the terminal first of all just run this command uh, i'll drop in the description as well this is the same command that we just saw in the prereqs just to check you have the target set up and as you guys can see for me the target is already set up and up to date now let's add our project now i'll use yarn as the package manager so make sure you have yarn installed otherwise there is a link in the description just install yarn as the package manager on your machine so here we'll just do yarn create tori app now here we have to provide some of the details for our app so let's say i name this as a demo app and then identifier as com.demoapp.app and for our uh, frontend we'll again use javascript or typescript 
and package manager i'll use yarn and you can use any of these with which you are most familiar with so and uh, as part of the ui template uh, i'll use react and then uf flavor as typescript this remains same regardless of if you are building for uh, android application uh, ios application or a desktop application because story promises to be a cross-platform development so the project structure the coding remains the same you just have to run a separate command for android code generation which we'll see in a minute now once you have your project structure ready and it's the default tori project structure where we have src where we can add our front end our ui src tori where we can add our tori commands in rust now in our terminal we'll just do actually first of all let's move to our project so as you can see we are not in our project once we are we'll just run this command to install uh, the tori cli as a dev dependency So once we have the Tori CLI installed, we are in our project and now we'll just uh, run the export command to set up our Java home and Android home and, and which is again using these commands that we just copied from the prereqs that I showed you guys in the start of the video. Just run this to export and make sure you have both installed for a successful return of your command otherwise it could uh, give you a failure so once you have this installed on your android studio through your android studio only then run these commands and let's clear this we are in our project now let's look at what we have in our code so just hide your uh, terminal go to librs and here we have the default tori command where we just provide the name press the greet button and it uh, says hello whatever you type the name you have been greeted from us now today in this video we are not adding any other code we are not making any code changes so you guys can connect well with me in terms of you know setting up and uh, getting the android development up and running on your machine uh, in the future videos we'll definitely build our own android applications our own projects so as you can see we are not doing any changes here nothing changes on our greet as well it just shows the default uh, there is a form and then there is a button we'll press the greet button and it will show us the greet message in the p tag so everything remains default just open your terminal again and here just run yarn tori android init now just make sure to run this in your project now once you have successful run the command as you can see it says project generated successfully macgoolabs done now if you see in your src tori there is a generation folder or gen folder edit inside the gen there is a android project edit and if you are someone who has worked on android development anywhere in the past then you could just look at this and understand hey this is an android project so this has been generated we haven't done anything literally we just run that command yarn tori android in it and it just generate a complete android project for us again everything remains as it is till now now just go back to your terminal and just clear this and here next we have to do is yarn tori if we do yarn tori tab that would just open our desktop application for the same code but if we do yarn tori android dev dash dash open now this dash dash open opens up android studio directly using this command from your cli this will directly open your android project in android studio but if you do dash dash host then make sure you have your physical android app like mobile connected to your computer your machine through your usb cable and then just run this command this would directly spawn or launch your app on your android physical device but uh, if you are someone who is more into apple and ios you don't have an android device then just do dash dash open this will open or launch android studio for you and then we can use android studio to launch our application in a uh, in a device now while you run the application make sure you have this terminal in your whatever the uh, id you are using or 
anywhere you are launching your yarn tori dev make sure it's up and running so because the communication is using the sockets which you can see in your uh in your file white config ts as you can see it communicates over the protocol which is ws at on this port so just run this command now once you have your build successful depending on if you have again covered the prereqs well you have everything that's required installed on your machine then this should be a smooth ride just like you saw in this video in this tutorial and as you can see it clearly prints opening android studio and this will ask you uh, if you want to open and then you just click trust it will open the android studio for you now let's move to android studio meanwhile just make sure you have your cli open your id open where you have this thing run up and running don't just close it and move to the android studio so once you are in your android studio the project should look something like this uh, you should have all your files auto generated you don't have to do anything here now now once you are in your android studio from the tools go to stk manager and your stk manager make sure you have installed whatever is required and the stk tools as you guys can see i have all of these tick mark installed make sure you have everything installed before you even run your rust up command so once you have all that's required just close it and in your android studio go to the device manager and here add a new device create a virtual device and once you are in your virtual device configuration make sure to select any of the device that you want your app to run on uh, let's say i select a uh, medium phone and then next now here you have to select a uh, image so either use recommended image arm image or the other image depending on which your system compiles your application on for me this is arm abi v7a but for you if it's x86 x86 64 or even arm 64 any of the images that your system compiles your application on uh, just make sure to have that installed on your machine and then just press next now that would just ask you a bunch of questions and get device up and running on your machine now for me i already have a device up and running uh, like configured so let's start this device first look of our application pretty much everything default we haven't changed anything in the code so the default project and uh, let's say we write something semicolon and we press create greeting from our android application using tori and react using rust so that's it i hope you guys are able to follow successfully and create the project structure and follow all the prereqs and learn all the command line we need for code generation for running your application on your host device your physical device or your virtual device uh, in the next videos we'll also look at the ios and we'll also add a video where we'll build on all three platforms like desktop application ios and android and will build a lot of projects so like the video share with your friends and make sure you subscribe and join my discord i'll catch you guys in the next video thank you